my name. Interweb, it's me, Fast Eddie. Today we have something unique going on. Today we have a customer that has a entrance lever lock installed on an aluminum glass door. I don't know how rare this is. I've never seen it in Minneapolis, Minnesota. But yeah, maybe in other states it's common. Just not here. Usually it's an Adams right, Adams right application. But an entrance lever lock? So the problem is that this lever lock was installed somewhere between two and three eighths back set to two and three quarter back set. And right now it has a latch on there for a two and three eighths. It's ripping the teeth off the end of the latch. It keeps damaging the latches on the lock. So I don't know what the solution is at this point. I may have to redrill the holes. I hate using hole saws on aluminum doors. It, it's just scary. But yeah, let's take a look at it. So this is the inner clutch on the lever lock. And what it's doing is ripping away from the ears and the teeth on the latch. And it's because the door was cut improperly. So what I'm finding is the edge of the door is beveled. So whoever initially installed the lock actually put a template on the door much like this, but they did not compensate for the fact that the door was beveled. They measured it to two and three eighths, and of course, from one edge of the door on the front, it's a shorter distance than it is on the back side. So essentially, this means the lock is binding with the latch. So what I'm gonna do is move the template out a little bit for the outside so I can redrill it so the hole is moved more towards the edge of the door. Okay, it looks clean to me. And the inside of the door looks perfectly aligned. So now I have to re-drill and move the holes for the security stems or the posts, as you will. So now I have the entrance lever reinstalled and there's no binding, there's no more ripping on the latch. So now this entrance lever appears to work perfectly. Okay folks, so we got it straightened out. So what I think the real problem was, is the door was beveled. So instead of the edge of the door being perfectly straight, it was actually beveled so it was, the door would sweep in at an angle. It kind of gives you the idea of the fact that the front of the door was cut at a different measurement than the back side of the door. They put a template on there for two and three A's. The back side measured out perfectly, but on the front side, it actually cut out too far out. It was really screwed up. I really did not like the idea of drilling on an aluminum glass door with a template. I would never do an installation of a brand new installation like that. I'd rather sell a customer a Adams Wright latch or deadbolt. Most locksmiths would. And that's why I believe that installation was done by a contractor. They don't care. They think they're gods. They come in, they do a job, whatever they do, they walk on water. Once they leave, they've been paid, they don't care. They're never heard from again. I have never seen an entrance lever installed on an aluminum glass door before. Maybe you have, I, not in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So needless to say, it was a little stressful, but it turned out okay. We got it measured out correctly. It will not tear up the teeth on the latch anymore or the ears. So it should function well for them for years to come. So thank you for joining me today. This here is Fast Eddie from Fast Eddie's Keys Express in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Bye-bye.